Okay, so on this video I'm going to show you how to test the serial port on a TRS-80 uh, Model 3 or 4 um, using a uh, small loop of wire just to tie together the receive and send uh, pins on the serial port and that way um, if we get the uh, data or the stuff you're typing um, bounce back to the echo back to the screen then your serial ports working if um, if it doesn't then there's a problem with the serial port so I'll start by using this TRS-80 model 4 we'll just log in okay now my favourite comms program is called Mal. So we've got nothing plugged into the serial port at the moment and as I type stuff nothing is echoed to the screen. So what I'll do then is I'll show you how to tie these pins together. Turn our machine off. and flip him over serial port on a model 4D is right there it's also on a Gatorade model 4 points out the back on a plain non Gatorade model 4 it's roughly here serial option board if your non Gatorade Model 4 just has a hole there, then there's no serial port installed. You can install one easily enough. Um, so what I'm going to use is just a uh, piece of wire, which is going to be really hard for this camera to focus in. And you can probably see it. piece of wire bent into a U. And a little bit hard to uh, to see here but the numbering of the pins when the computer's in this orientation is the top row goes from bottom to top one two three so we've got to put the uh, the wire in there so I'm just gonna try and do that while keeping focus on the computer Right. So that's our wire in between pins uh, 2 and 3. So once that bit of wire is in there, we can flip our Model 4D back over. And fire him back up. Reload Mal. And as we type, we can see now what I'm typing, ASDF, being sent back to the uh, to the screen. So we know the serial port on this motherboard is working fine. Um, that's a 300 board. If I... Um, don't mind me. Change the... Uh, the board rate to a more usable one like 2400 board and it's still working fine types my name perfectly so that's the way to test the serial port if you haven't got another computer or terminal to connect it to or no modem or anything like that on a, uh, a TRS-80 model 3 or 4 that's standing still just join pins 2 and 3 together, load a comms program and start typing. So uh, I hope that's helped to the people out there. Thanks for watching. Okay, I'm just going to finish off this video showing you some of the serial cards for TRS-80s and describe them and show you what goes wrong with them. So this type is what's installed in the TRS-80 Model 3 
and model for um, early non gate array systems. What tends to happen with these ones is that uh, if they're not working, it's either this chip here, the UART. UART stands for uh, Universal Asynchronous Receiver Transmitter. That's the uh, the chip that does the interfacing of the uh, serial information and translates it into um, uh, eight bit information for the processor and vice versa. That's the main culprit, so it's um, socketed. Next to it is the board rate generator. That one um, is the one responsible for making the serial communications work at the uh, at the pre prescribed speed. If it fails, then uh, the um, again that will stop your serial working. Um, on these early ones, we'd use a white cable like this to connect to the uh, computer. That cable can fail, particularly if it's been removed and reinserted a number of times. And finally, on these boards, we have some 1488 and 14. I'll start again. 1488 and 1489 uh, line um, line drivers, which are the uh, the purpose of those is to um, amplify the output and input of the um, serial signal. If they fail then um, again the serial port won't work. So that's on the um, early type serial board. Uh, okay this is a Model 4D motherboard which is the same as a Model 4 gate array motherboard. On these ones the UR chip is this guy here. The board rate generator is um, this one here and the line drivers are here, here and here. So any of those can cause the serial port to, to not want to work on the 4D or 4 gate array motherboard. And finally on the Model 1 if you're looking for its serial port, it lives in here, up in the lid. Uh, in addition to uh, the same problems relating to the UART, the board rate generator, and its line drivers. Its line drivers are um, there, uh, there, and one more there. It also lives in here in a hot um, unventilated area gets very hot um, so it can cause problems in tropical climates also this connector here is solder covered so that can oxidize and cause problems um, this one obviously isn't bolted down but that's how it goes it sits in here anyway like that so that's the model one serial port so that concludes my video on the serial ports, uh, how to test them and how to, how to um, start diagnosing problems with them. Uh, if you've got any questions on, on serial problems on your TRS-80s, by all means, um, drop me a line. Thanks again for watching.